Uh, there are people here. Can you see us? We're an unusually. We can see you. Yeah, we can. Thank you. We have an unusually attractive uh, assembly of people here today. You wanted to say, you wanted to ask a question. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, I thought you did. Um, anybody here? Oh, you have a peace sign. That's good enough. You want to come down here so we can. I need your hand. I can't read your mind. Uh, Thomas and Claudia would like to uh, know what you think, and I know you're going to be brief, sir. Uh, Thomas, my name is Jacob. I'm a three-tour vet of the Afghan war, and I have a great deal of respect for you and for your life. Well, I, have you. I have one question. If someone was to sing your song, what would you want the chorus to be? Oh, man. <laughs> I, uh, I guess Eddie better... Uh, Pretty much hit that on the head when he uh, wrote No More War. Um, yes. Uh, anyone else? You, you'll stand if you want to. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a brother in a wheelchair here, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Hey. Uh, so, my name is Salam. Um, I'm from Iraq. And wow. Wow. <laughs> I, am, I am sorry for my uh, government to do your country. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so uh, I had polio since I was uh, one year old. And uh, I uh, actually uh, walked in the same streets that you are talking about. I, I totally understand where you were. And uh, I walked in Center City and I walked in and I worked with uh, while I was shot at. Uh, so I totally understand where you're coming from. I totally feel you. And uh, it's very weird to me. It's weird feeling like I'm almost shivering because uh, an American guy 10,000 feet uh, uh, miles away and me are sharing the same experience. That's weird. Yes, yes, it is. Um, so um, I, 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 my question to you is, uh, well, uh, if, if you are deciding to end your life, uh, who do you think that will, uh, you will give the flag to? The flag of the, the peace. That the, you, to the my message. wife. We need, we need the message, man. <laughs> oh, well, well, thank you. Yes. Yes, Claudia will carry the banner. Okay, quickly. Uh, I, my impression from the film was that uh, your care uh, after your injury seemed uh, woefully inadequate compared to that of the Vietnam vet. Do you think if you had better care at that time, you wouldn't be in this predicament? Uh, yes, I, 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 I think that, but there's no way of knowing for sure. Uh, back here, yes. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the uh, dedication of the Bush Library will be across the street from where we're standing, and there'll be the five living presidents there tomorrow. What message can we as a group convey to those people, even if they can't hear it? That uh, uh, the country needs to support its veterans and act between military personnel to the utmost extent of their abilities. Yes. Yes. We should receive just as good, if not better, care than regular civilians. Hey, I just uh, wanted to follow up on, after watching the film, the one thing we really didn't get to see is uh, with your brother, man. How is he doing? Is he back? Is he safe? And uh, do we have a little up story to this? He's, uh, yeah, he's out of the Army. He's uh, living in New Mexico with a uh, wife and a baby girl, my niece, who I adore. 
and he's uh, on the mixer making a good living. He's doing good. Hey, Thomas. Uh, my partner and I, after seeing uh, the Rolling Stone article on you and this thing tonight, I think everybody here thinks you're a rock star. <laughs> we just think you're the greatest. Um, listen, um, I feel such in, infuriated <laughs> at our politicians who screwed us all over uh, in what's happened here, and especially with what's coming up tomorrow in the protest. What do you see? Uh, do you see a light at the end of this tunnel for the American people being able to uh, turn some of this nonsense over? And what do you see as the next big thing for us? Well, I, uh, I, I, I don't see anything happening unless there is a phenomenal sea change in the way that our politicians think and act. And uh, I, I, I hope that one day we will not necessarily see a world without war, but see a world without unnecessary war. And again, to take care of my fellow veterans and military personnel. Claudia, if I if I could say something, actually, <laughs> um, I uh, I feel so sad that we had to do this. You know, in the shadow of Vietnam, a lot of my friends are Vietnam veterans and artists, and you know their stories are so heartbreaking. You know, it's homelessness, incarceration, they're sick, you know, they're alone, they're struggling. And to have done this in the shadow of that, I just, you know, so I feel like maybe Vietnam and Iraq and Afghanistan, we can learn from the stories of, individual stories of suffering of these warriors, and maybe we, we can evolve out of this war thing. Uh, um, Claudia, talk to us about the VA, just your own first role experience to the drama and Thomas and the VA? Uh, it, it just felt uh, like veterans are marginalized within the system that was, you know, built to take care of them. So it's just an odd feeling to go and just be treated. He, he said it like when he said it, it felt like a factory. It just feels uh, like there's just not a lot of care and concern and respect for the service of the veteran and it's just a general, you know, it's, I don't know, it just, it, it, it's not worthy, the, the care is just not worthy of what, what these guys need. And, and a lot of, just a lot, a lot of work to do. And a yeah. lot of pills you've told me. I'm sorry, what? A lot of pills. And yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, procedures, surgeries, drugs. You know, procedures, surgeries, drugs. You know, it's just kind of like this endless and this cycle. And there's just, you know, these guys feel like a piece of meat. They're just, and I guess they can be stitched up and, you know, uh, and and let go from the hospital. But you know, what about the uh, emotional, uh, psychological, uh, spiritual, and existential wounds? You know, that you know these guys feel. So it's just, it's just such an incomplete system, really. Hi, Thomas and Claudia. It's Ann Wright. It was good to Hi. See you. Hi, it was, girl. It was good to see you in Kansas City a couple of weeks ago. And here we are in Texas, and I tell you, half of this crowd met you in Texas. And why don't, everybody that met Thomas in Texas at Camp Casey in 2005, raise your hand. There's a stand up. There's a whole bunch of people. Tomorrow we'll be here. It's good to see you all again. <laughs> well, tomorrow we will be. We'll be standing there as George Bush inaugurates his, his library, and we'll be there with your letter, that powerful letter. And if there's anything else you want us to tell him that's not in your letter, we'll be glad to do it. Thank you. Yes. Hi, Thomas. Um, my name is Farah Mohsen, and I'm an Iraqi citizen as well. And 
I just wanted to tell you uh, on behalf of myself, I can't speak on behalf of all the Iraqi people, but on behalf of myself, I want to thank you for being honest. I want to thank you for telling the truth about the war. I want to thank you for telling and informing the American people about the reality of what's happening in Iraq. And I want to ask you if you have a message for the Iraqi people that you wish to deliver. I'm happy to deliver that message. Thank you. Uh, I, I just want to apologize for what I feel was an, an unnecessary action taken against the, the people of Iraq. I apologize for my government. Thomas, my name is Kim and I'm an occupational therapist and I want to tell you I'm really sorry you didn't get the care that you needed. I would have liked to have been able to work with you. Um, but, but I have a medical question. You, you, I understand the anoxia and the speech, and I don't understand why you seem to have lost control of one of your hands or their... Uh, because the oxygen was cut off from my brain, I, I just okay. lost. I don't know how it happened, but it just was one of the side effects of that. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's called neuropathy. It's, it's neuropathy, so he can feel everything, but his motor control is poor. Okay, I understand. I was also married to a quadriplegic, so I see it from uh, the sides. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, Thomas. My name is Ramon Mejia. Um, I served in Iraq in 2003. Um, brother, I just wanted to let you know that we never personally met. I am a member of Iraq Veterans of War, uh, Against the War, and we have many, many, many members here. And I wanted to send you that. Tell you that I love you, brother, and that. Um, I send good vibes out to you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yo, Thomas, I want to say hey to, hey to Lisa and Timmy and Amanda and Nathan, Claudia. Just want to tell you, man, sweet soul, good heart, yeah. strong spirit, that day. We're good. Yes. Hey, thank you, Eric. Thanks, Lovo. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Uh, my name is Algino Clemens, and I am of uh, fair health. I wish I could give you my stomach and some of my good organs and some of my good health so that you could be around much longer because you have a very special and important message that needs to be told for years to come, maybe generations to come. Uh, if I could do this, I would. Uh, Thank you in the meantime for your sacrifice, and may God bless you and keep you strong. Well, th thank you for the offer, but I couldn't wish you to call out anybody. Thank you. Hey, Thomas, how are you? Um, Good. I just want to tell you that the, 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 the film that you and Phil made was, uh, was amazing, and your humor through, through all the, the film was, uh, was great. I wonder if you could just uh, share an opinion that, that I happen to share, uh, that uh, second wives should really be Latina all the time, shouldn't they? Absolutely. Because mine is too, brother, and I just want to make sure you... You are absolutely correct, sir. Thanks. God bless you, man. <laughs> Latinas know how to take care of their men. Hi, Thomas. My name is Drum, and I just want to thank you for your service to this country since you returned. I think that's the most important thing that you've done in your life. Thank you very much. Well, Thomas, this, uh, this audience, Claudia, you guys looking good, really. I mean, uh, you're, a, uh, you're a happy postcard. I... Uh, I yeah. Thank you, I thank you again. I know that's our known rock up, baby. By the way, uh, raise that uh, sweatshirt a little bit. We can't read the whole thing. Reality doesn't what? Doesn't reality doesn't give a damn about your beliefs. Oh. Okay. Well, well, now uh, if you'll. If you'll all turn your hymnals to page... Uh, <laughs> there you go. 
Uh, hey guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Uh, everybody here in Dallas says you're you're the man, and thank you. Thank you, and I hope we all enjoy the Bye bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Love you, Tom. Thank you. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you all very much for being here. Take Thomas's message with you. If you know of anybody who would show the film uh, anywhere, uh, we can have a DVD available to you. Uh, this movie sold no popcorn. This was not a commercial hit. This movie won lots of prizes. We were on a short list for an Oscar. But uh, this is not a take your girl to the movie movie. So uh, obviously we would like more and more people to see it. We think, we think the movie will make more and more sense as the years go by. When you see how easy it is to frighten people and have them go to war, it's unbelievable. This, this president took this whole nation and the Congress. Is there a flyer the or a resource to get the film and who to contact? The, uh, thank you. There is a website, uh, bodyofwar.com. Uh, Body of War is available on Netflix, uh, Best Buy, Amazon. So it's available on the web. Uh, and I think if you go into some of, like, Best Buy, I think if we're lucky, they'll have it in stock. And, you know, they look it up on a computer and they can sell it to you. Uh, and, I, you know, I hope you'll do that because no sense making a film if nobody sees it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Thank you, know, you for making it. I'd come to your film if you make it. <laughs> Thank you all again very much.